Uh, welcome back to the Mind Crack. This is episode number 12 of Mind Crack Season 6 of the Mind Crack Minecraft multiplayer server. I'm back from the holidays and it is time to get back to work. We're going to start today by uh, draining a little bit of the ocean monument here. I'm not going to do the whole thing today though because, well, one, it's just going to eat my soul if I try to accomplish all of it at once, but I have a other things I'd like to accomplish today. Thank you very much. So we're gonna drain two of these, at least, at least we'll do a few on camera. I think uh, I've been doing a few of these off camera and the five by five size is probably about the most optimal to do these quickly, to retrieve my, my sponges and to get back down. I had a very nice holidays, by the way. I hope you did too. But now that uh, I've, I've been away for a while, I usually take these kind of breaks around uh, the New Year's, Christmas type time. And by the time I get back, I am just itching to make stuff. It's a good time to recharge. I don't often like take breaks um, or even think that I need them, but it's amazing how refreshed I feel after taking a, a little holiday. So uh, what I wanna do after I do some draining of Ye Ocean Monument is we are going to go to the Chunk City. We're going to make a shop, and we're going to use some of the blocks from our Ocean Monument. I did want to make a shop selling these blocks, um, but we're going to get we're going to get the blocks from the farm once we make that farm. But until then, I'm going to make a different farm or, or a different shop rather. Okay, let's see. I always do this once I get to the bottom. I can't remember which way to dig. Oh, and looks like I left, uh, let's see, is it this one? Yes, this is one of the ways anyway. I always forget which way to go. Uh, we're gonna make a shop later on. Once we have the farm up and running, we will make another shop that will sell the prismarine, the lamps and all that kind of stuff. But until then, we're just gonna make a shop um, and we'll get that in a moment. It's, we're gonna move one of our llamas there who is gonna be the, uh, like the shopkeep It's gonna, be in charge of making sure there's no faulty trans transactions, all that kind of stuff. So, I'll be the first to admit it, I have a little bit of a problem doing things in pieces. I have a little bit of a problem multitasking. It's been a few days since that last clip, by the way. And if you're looking at the screen, maybe you're not looking at the screen. If you're looking at the screen, you can probably tell... Ouch. I finished draining the temple. And I even dug up part of it. I recorded bits of it, and after replaying the clips, I uh, kind of like... After a few days of doing this, wow, those clips are kind of boring, so I deleted them, so we're not going to show you them. I didn't make a giant montage about it because, to be honest, when I started doing this, I, w I did not plan. I was not going to do this. I was not going to do this. I was just going to do a little bit. We were going to go do something else, and that was going to be the end of it. But after I did that little bit, I saw, oh, I could just do a little bit more. We don't have to go back to town just yet and build that thing. We'll just do a little bit more. And then once I had done a little bit more, I realized, oh, I can just do a little bit more. I can just do a little bit more. And then days later, I finished. I drained the whole thing. Obviously, I still have to dig this out if I so choose to build the farm like that. You don't have to dig the whole thing out, but I probably am going to. I think what I want to do, just visually, is dig the whole thing out and then get rid of all the sand so you can see the water. You can see through the water to the ocean. That would be pretty cool. There's still a lot to do. I've got to dig out most of this if that's how I choose to build it, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just said that. <laughs> We're gonna dig this out. We're gonna dig it down a bit. We're gonna make a huge farm. I wanted to uh, do a number of things, but I've been doing this basically all day for the last few days. And I think now that I've um, done this much, I think my brain is going to let me do something else. I'm not a multitasker. I'm a do something until it's done kind of person. And this isn't done, but in my brain, like the project was, at least the part I was working on was get rid of the water. 
And I don't see any water, so I think my brain is gonna let me move on. Let's let's move on before I uh, start thinking, hey, you know what? I could dig out a little bit of the temple. And to be honest, I was kind of thinking of doing that. Make I'm gonna make this huge montage. I can put a lot of music, and uh, we'll have this big thing, and I'll dig out the whole thing today. But that's gonna take a few more days, and then there's gonna be no more videos for a few days. All right, let's grab this stuff. We are going, I'm gonna head back to my base, pick up some extra blocks. We're gonna load up some stuff. We're gonna go to Chunk City. Do I need any of this? Probably not. I don't think I need this. Let's grab that. We're gonna go to Chunk City. We're gonna make a shop. So this is Chunk City. It's slowly filling out. Beef has already got two shops over there. There's Michael's shop over there. Here's Badge's chain to uh, the heavens. There's a Christmas tree. And we have some, a uh, little bit of competition. I, th I think this is Adlington's shop. Obviously not finished. I guess we're in a little bit of a race. Who can get their Prismarine farm up first and reap all of the rewards, all of the diamonds that we're gonna make selling this stuff. Uh, so I brought a variety of blocks with me. Got all the Prismarine stuff. Gonna use either acacia wood or spruce wood for the columns and then dark oak wood for the roofs and then a variety of uh, fence gates and all that kind of stuff, chains and different cosmetic things, some plants, and some cobblestone stuff for a while. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a, um, I guess it's basically gonna be like a pagoda, and I've, I've built something kinda like this before on season four of the Mindcrack server when I built the map room. What do I wanna start with? I wanna lay some stuff out. I guess we use some cobblestone to begin. Um, did I put my, no, I did not. I'll move these inside the wall once I get it a little bit established. So we're gonna make a, let me get rid of these torches too. And I'll pick up the wall eventually. But for now, this is gonna be the corners. We're gonna have a wall around the outside. And uh, I guess it'll have three entrances, not an entrance there because someone else will eventually make a shop there. What's this? Someone's put some random stuff here and there. I'll, I'll move those. So this will be a solid wall. Not, it won't look exactly like this, but just um, visualize with me. Visualize. So there'll be a wall there, a wall there. And we'll have uh, three ways to get in. And then we're going to have some columns going up. So the interior of the building might be something like this. One, two, three, four. And the interior of these four columns here is all of the floor space we're going to have. And it's also it also has to fit a llama. So um, we might do something where the bottom floor is larger and the floors above it with the ornamental sloped roofs and whatnot. Those might be a little bit narrower. Yeah, I th this is going to be kind of tiny, huh? We got to fit a llama. Let's say the llama is this torch. And we make it so it can barely move. So it's got like that much space. Then we've got like, this is, all, this is very cramped. Okay, let's spread this out a little bit. So the bottom floor, let's just imagine it's like this. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. We don't have that much room. We only have one chunk, obviously. Uh, but I think that's gonna be much better. Then this could be on the bottom floor. We could have uh, wood going up like that. Pretty good. And then four entrances here. And then we can have a little bit, a very small, minimal garden area out around the edge inside our wall, but outside our building. Let's see, what did I bring? I brought, let's dump this stuff in the chest. I got some dirt, some plants, some flowers, rose bushes I thought would look nice. All this stuff for the fence. I'm gonna do a similar fence on the outside, I think, to what I did for the, the map room ages ago. And then we got all these prismarine blocks for the actual building on the inside, some sea lanterns, which should look nice. And I think the bone blocks are gonna look really good. I think the bone blocks, I don't really like the bone blocks in general. I don't think they fit well in Minecraft, but in this one instance, I think they are going to be the best match. And if I need more, we will just head off to my uh, skeleton grinder under my base, under my little starter house. Starter hole in the wall, more like. It's not really a house. 
Okay, so uh, what we need to do, we need to decide what we're doing for the main columns. Is it going to be like this? And then how are we going to use the prismarine? We, this building is not going to be very big, so we're not going to be able to make it nearly as detailed as the, uh, the map room building. This entrance might even be a little bit too small. Might be a bit too cramped, but we'll, we'll play with it. Uh, okay, so if that wood is coming up like that... Uh, unfortunately, I can't make slabs or stairs out of prismarine, so I can't make the roof out of this stuff. We're going to have to make the roof out of the, uh, the dark oak slabs. So where do we fit in... Maybe we don't make that out of... Maybe we make um, this stuff out of the actual prismarine. And maybe I'll try to work in the prismarine into uh, the walls as well. We want that to be a very prominent color. And then to fit, what did I do with the bone blocks? Fit the bone blocks in between, which will be like the, uh, like just a white base wall in between. I think that's gonna look good. Yeah, maybe we get rid of this. I'll find somewhere else to put that, some kind of roof detail. We're not gonna be able to put a lot of detail into the roof as much as I would like to. We don't have micro blocks or anything like that. Uh, so we might, oops, we might do something like this. So phase one, got a little bit of a handle on how I want the roof curve to look. It's, uh, the bottom here is still super tentative. I'm not exactly liking what I'm doing, but the roof curve I think is going to uh, look nice and inform a lot of the other things we're gonna do. Let's back up. I did, I made it even bigger, the base level. To give us extra room because we need room to display the stuff we're gonna be selling. Yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's connect up the edges. So we'll do it like that. Connect this up to the other side. And every level above this one will be smaller and they'll stack up. It's not gonna be as tall as that thing, but it'll be, I don't know, maybe about as tall as the Christmas tree. Did I do it the same? Oh, um, this is not the right block. Supposed to be a slab. So I think that looks okay. And hopefully on the inside we'll have room for some uh, beams and stuff. There won't be that much space. And now that we have two blocks here, I do have a little bit more space to uh, put... S to kind of vary up the blocks and the details in this section. This is the back, so there won't be an entrance there. And then this needs to be connected over to this guy. Out of slabs. Need to make some more. Mm, there we go. Three levels done. I decided each of the the next two levels should get a little bit smaller just based on the size and the proportions, the way it looked. Now, I guess after this one, this one will just copy three or four times to the top level. Okay, there's some water here. Someone's trying to go to uh, the twilight. It's about the sun's about to go down. Speaking of twilight, let's hop in the bed. You can only sleep at night. All right, it's not nighttime yet. So this is just to get an idea of the sizes, how far apart the, the different levels should be, all that kind of stuff. So the goal was to make a small shop in Chunk City to sell some odds and ends. This is not the Prismarine shop. We're going to make that after we make the farm in the fullness of time. So here's floor number one. There's a zombie pigman there. There's a zombie pigman here. Floor number two. Let's back up. Zoom out. Enhance, in reverse. Floor number three. Floor number four. Am I gonna fall in water? One, two, three. Floor number, f uh, one, two, three, four, four, number five. Floor number six. And then, damn it. <laughs> I looked behind me specifically to avoid this kind of thing. Floor, what was it? One, two, three, four, six story pagoda store. I like it. And there needs to be something kind of ornamental on the top. I, I was doing some uh, research, some Google image searches. And I saw that a lot of the pagodas had this sort of spire thing on top, and I didn't realize really why until I had built my own. And it's because the top of the roof, you can't see the curve of the roof because it's too tall. You can only see the upturned edges. Maybe that's why these edges are upturned like that, just so you can see what's going on. Because you, when you get right up underneath it, you can only see the underside. See the kind of cool detail it adds? The, uh, the map room I made on Season 4 of the Mindcrack server, it had a under level of wood and an upper level of stone, stone brick. 
Uh, I might try to do that because if you notice, if you just sort of look at it like right here, it just looks like a solid, it's just solid dark oak. And you don't get the prismarine, you don't get much contrast in it. It really kills the depth of the thing when you just have one color going all the way up. So I might try that. It's going to be hard to do that with this size of a build. But maybe that's a good idea. Just uh, we'll give it a go. I'm out of materials. I'm running low on dark oak. I'm totally out of bone blocks. I have to sit under my, my skeleton grinder at the house. One other thing I did with the old build, which I really liked, is I had these kind of hanging lanterns. And now that I have some sea lanterns, that's fairly thematic. And I think I had them hanging from uh, just single st strings of fences coming down kind of like this. Um, let's get this guy... Say what, let's put you there, and you there. Um, but on the inside, it's kind of a little bit too cramped on this little outer level. I do need to add some, some lighting before I head off for the day, because monsters are going to be spawning all over this. I definitely don't want that happening while I'm away. And let's see, there's going to be some roof beams at a certain point, but let's just fill in the roof real quick, just so I can see what this looks like. Is that different than the other corners? No, it's not. It's not different at all. Exactly the same. Uh, this one's different because this has a little spot to hop out so that I can get onto the ceiling, onto the roof. Okay, so um, where's them fences? Them fences is there. Is this, if I put it here... <laughs> That's going to be hanging to it, because the floor is going to be like here. I might recess the floor a little bit to give us a little bit more vertical space. Huh, but either way, let's see, if we do that, and the floor is here, these are hanging super low already. Problem is, if uh, we do it like this, they don't really look like they're hanging very far. And if we put in all four, what do we got? We got, uh, that's in the way. Let's go ahead and just uh, add all four, because I can break them easy enough and get them back. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do this. And while I'm thinking about it, let's grab some stone brigadoos. I only have two stairs left. Huh. Oh no, I dumped them all in here. Okay, we have enough. So you'd come up here into this level, then you'd come down here into this level. Mmm, shovel. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, um... Crap. Three. Piggy! You know what, Piggy? Your friends aren't here to bail you out. That's right. And they'll never know what happened to you. <laughs> Alright, so here's the floor level. Oh, maybe that's okay. Once we get down to this level. Yeah, that looks okay. The roof level, we might do something with the, uh... The acacia wood logs might make up the roof beams. Could look cool instead of being this stuff. Let's try replacing that with acacia wood. Uh, we will need a block. I guess that'll work. Um, I reach it. Yeah. And then from here, I'll just do some jumps. Because these are full blocks. That one was uh, part of the stair I had to hit. Oh yeah, okay, I think we're on to something. We're gonna have to cut off this video right about here. Let's put in one more. This is not gonna be a one day build. This is a pretty big little mini sh <laughs> little shop I made, huh? And I think the, um, I have some ideas for the Guardian one, the Guardian farm selling Prismarine block seller once we're that far. But this'll do for now. And after I, after I work out the details of floors two and three, I can just copy stuff upwards. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna look cool. All right, sweet. I think we made enough progress. For, I think I've done enough for one video, don't you think? Emptied out the entire stupid monument. And then uh, what else did I do? I built this shop. Days and days of work. Why don't you just separate things into little chunks and make videos of that? Because I'm not capable, that's why. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. 
Leave your comments below. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, I take it back. One more short little clip. I ran up the thing and put torches down just so monsters wouldn't spawn while I'm uh, not here working on it. And look at the difference. It looks so much better already just because we get more detail. Because uh, the blocks, the wood was all basically one color. It was just looking flat. Now we've got different sides looking nice because there's light up there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm really liking this build all of a sudden. I liked it before, but I like it way more now. All right, that's it. Promise, for reals. The end of video. See you later. Bye-bye.